have you ever within your social sphere heard statements such as boys don't cry be like a man you are the man of the household the son has to take forward the family's lineage it's the son's responsibility to take care of parents in their old age he's so unmanly the man is the breadwinner of the family you cannot go out alone in the night girl unless accompanied by your brother how do you feel when you hear such statements what do they imply statements like these and many similar ones construct an image of how a man should be his roles and responsibilities in the family and society a man is expected to be strong at all times someone who does not show weakness by shedding tears he is supposed to shoulder all the responsibilities of the family the son who has to produce male heirs the provider and the protector of the family so that a man is able to live up to these roles domination authority competitiveness ambition strength and all such qualities in men are valorized a real man is expected to have all these qualities but are these qualities biological no masculinity again is a socially constructed outlook on how real men should be no boy is born macho assertive and aggressive as we discussed in the first module on gender socialization steers little boys and girls to behave in certain ways as we saw in the second module institutions like the family religion schools and colleges legal institutions and media reinforce such constructions we call this the patriarchal structure ideology and culture we examined how patriarchy negatively affects women however something that is less talked about is that patriarchy also has a negative impact upon boys and men it is these patriarchal attitudes that force men to live up to the macho excessively dominating and aggressive image it is these social constructions that push men to be strong to the point of always boasting of it fearless to the point of indulging in self damaging behavior authoritarian to the point of suppressing the expressions of others ambitious to the point of putting others down and so on they are not allowed the freedom to be different to display tender emotions is a taboo as it is considered to be a sign of weakness but if we analyze deeply we can say that such constructions are negative stereotypes surrounding masculinity what is needed is to confront such negative construction of masculinity and that is what we will attempt to do in this module however masculinity cannot exist in isolation from femininity society constructs masculinity and femininity as mirror images of each other so men are expected to dominate and control while women must be subservient men should be aggressive women must be submissive men are expected to order and women have to obey their orders men are allowed to be hot tempered and women have to be patient so on and so forth one does not exist without the other and each exists because of the other if men dominate 
but women refuse to be submissive peace and harmony from the families will disappear so society builds this image of a real man on the backbone of a good woman do remember this point because we are going to be coming back to it